Hey everyone, Brian here with the Hobby Farm Guys. Today we spotlight the most popular turkey breed in the world, the broad-breasted white. Let's talk turkey. So last year, Americans consumed on average just under 16 pounds of turkey per person. Delicious, delicious turkey. Turkey's big business. And while turkeys are produced all across the globe, the United States is the world's largest turkey producer and the largest exporter of turkey products. In 2020, the U.S. produced 224 million turkeys, or about 7.3 billion pounds of delicious turkey meat. About 99% of that production came from a single breed, the broad-breasted white. The broad-breasted white turkey was developed during the mid-1900s by crossing two of the preferred meat turkeys of the day, the Holland White and the Broad-Breasted Bronze. The resulting bird grew faster, larger, and had a cleaner looking carcass due to the white pin feathers. By the mid-1960s, the Broad-Breasted White had taken top spot as the turkey of choice for commercial production, and it's never looked back. It's no secret why these turkeys are the leading breed in the commercial meat industry. On top of their fast rate of growth, broad-breasted whites produce more meat than any other turkey breed. They also produce an overly high percentage of breast meat, a well-loved favorite of many people. Often referred to as industry or commercial turkeys, they've been selectively bred for decades for the purpose of increasing both their body mass and growth rates, making them more efficient to raise and slaughter in vast numbers thereby increasing profitability to large-scale farming operations. But broad-breasted white turkeys aren't only used in commercial production. They're one of the most popular choices for the hobby farms and homesteads as well. Their feed conversion and growth rates simply can't be matched. If your goal is to produce turkey meat quickly, efficiently, and inexpensively as possible, this is the breed for you. Due to their genetics, they can reach butcher size in 16 to 20 weeks. And the birds are friendly to boot, which sometimes be becomes an issue as future Thanksgiving dinner turkeys turn into, well, pet turkeys. The issue becomes these birds get so large so fast, their bodies literally break down. Broad-breasted white turkeys are susceptible to a whole range of health issues from problems with their feet and legs to heart and respiratory issues as well. Limiting feed intake can help slow this process as they do tend to pig out when given the option. But the breed has been developed to gain weight quickly, not to live long, fulfilling lives. Not considered the tastiest turkey, they can grow to be 50 pounds or larger. And due to their large size, broad-breasted turkeys have a difficult time mating naturally. So you either end up buying chicks each year, or you learn how to artificially inseminate them. Oddly, broad-breasted white turkeys have a very high percentage of their eggs hatch, something that can be a struggle to those raising turkeys. So if you clear the first hurdle of getting the eggs fertilized, you should end up with a high hatch rate. The chicks hatch yellow, and as they mature, they'll be all white with pink legs, black beard, and red caruncle. If keeping broad-breasted turkeys, you'll need to provide a lot of fresh bedding materials like clean, short fiber straw or wood shavings. Many large breed turkeys can't safely perch at night due to their size, so it's important to give them a solid, elevated sleep structure like a straw bale and keep it cleaned off daily. Without this special attention, Broad-breasted turkeys can suffer from terrible pressure sores on their keels, legs, and feet. Nesting boxes should also be provided at floor level. Large breed turkeys are also sensitive to temperatures, especially heat. In the summer, broad-breasted white turkeys can experience heat stroke in hot temperatures. And to avoid this, make sure that the turkeys have an area where they can cool down comfortably. Depending on your goals, broad-breasted whites may be the perfect turkey for you. If you want a turkey that you can buy in the spring and put in the freezer in the fall, consider the broad-breasted white. Now if you want a self-sustaining flock of birds that are fairly self-sufficient and produce succulent meat, you may want to look elsewhere. Let us know what you think. 
Is the broad-breasted white right for you? Leave a comment below and share your experience. And if you found this video helpful, please like it. And we hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel. After all, it's free. One more useful tip. Do you know the difference in a turkey and a chicken? Chickens celebrate Thanksgiving. Happy hobby farming, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving.